The question on most men's mind after prostate cancer surgery is, how will we know that this worked? The answer is, we'll track a simple blood test called PSA. In this image, we're measuring PSA on the y-axis over here. Time is measured on the x-axis down here. As an example, let's think of a hypothetical 65-year-old man who undergoes a series of PSA tests over a number of years. The PSA starts low and within normal limits, but over time it creeps up, until eventually it exceeds normal limits. At that point, the test is repeated, and this confirms an abnormal result. Ultimately, he elects to undergo surgery for cure. Remember, there are only two things in the body that can create PSA, a normal prostate gland and prostate cancer. So after a successful prostate cancer surgery, when the entire gland is removed and all of the cancer is removed, the PSA returns to zero. After surgery, we continue to measure the PSA every six months. For many men, after surgery, the PSA remains zero for the rest of their life. These men are effectively cured of prostate cancer. But some men will experience a PSA rise after prostatectomy. In this case, your doctor may recommend additional treatment with radiation, which can result in cure, even after a recurrence. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. This is not medical advice.